You may have to. Yeah. Hey, welcome to another <laughs> super exciting, outrageous toy review. This is my first live stream. I'm super excited. Erica's first hi. live stream. Hi. We got one person watching so far. Make sure to say hi in the comments. That way we know you're watching. What's up, Green Yeti? Green Yeti, he's my man. 907. Green Yeti is a G.I. Joe fan that came over oh, from... Oh, yeah? Oh, and there's Chris from Chris from Long Stories. Green Yeti hi. is a fan of Hooded Cobra Commander 788, who I met at JoeCon. Nice. Gumby Glenn. All right. I'm not going to be able to keep up with all these people. <laughs> it'll, slow, it'll calm down. <laughs> so we are doing a giveaway tonight. Yes. I should go get that. You should. We're doing a giveaway tonight of some Dota 2 Pops that we got from Funko. And um, every single person that says hi in the comments, I'm writing down on this little piece of paper. I'm going to cut them up. Put them in my little winter hat here. And uh, at the end of the stream, we'll draw a name to receive all four of them. We have... You put them... Okay. You open them upside down. You have Pudge. Oh, right here. Spirit Breaker, Phantom Assassin, and I believe Juggernaut, and right? Juggernaut. Yep, and Juggernaut. So, all four of these lovely, wonderful prizes will go to one of you lucky folks. I won't awesome. put your name in. I already wrote it, but I'll cross it out. <laughs> Green Yeti doesn't want them. You don't collect pops, all right. Okay. We understand. Okay. They're not for everyone. That's all right. That's going to be hard all to right. help with. Yeah. Candy Kid's here. All right. Candy Kid. Hi. What's going on? So we were at RetroCon over the weekend. If you guys didn't see today's video, mm -hmm. it's a 14-minute it's a vlog. It's two days compressed into 14 minutes. Tons of fun. We hung out with Chris from Long's Toys, who's in the chat. We it was cool. It was really Band. fun. We hung out with Dan Larson from Toy Galaxy. It was, uh, it was a good time. Yeah, we hung out with the toy dance. It was good. <laughs> Candy Kid, although I only had this one. Good morning. How's it going, guys? <laughs> All right. I'm feeling a little crowded. Put yes. Down. I feel like they're going to fall. The off. prizes, we can bring them up later. All right. I'll put them over here. Or over there. Over there. Okay. All right. So we have some of the new, not so new, but new Ninja Turtles. Uh, yeah. I've been slow. I've been, I've been going through a, a toy depression since Toys R Us closed. I really haven't been doing a lot of toy shopping. It's really sad. Uh, the channel has suffered. I've just been kind of reviewing stuff that was laying around. Right. So it's time to get back in the game and buy some new toys. Nice. So I got some new turtles. And where I, did you get them? Uh, I got them at Target. Got them at Target. Um, they did have most of them at Walmart. We checked Walmart tonight. We did. They had most of them there. Um, we were looking for some 90s Nickelodeon stuff. We were. We could not find anything. We'll have to find some 90s Nickelodeon miss stuff. Miss Toys R Us, too. Yeah, Candy Kid. I'm, yes. I miss it a lot. Is it, is it actually coming back, though? It's supposed to be coming back as Jeffrey's <laughs> Toy Box, but I don't know how many locations there will be, and I don't know where they will be. Like, there might not be any <laughs> in this area. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know if they'll be here or not. We'll see. So, so. I don't know who we should start with. I mean, oh, Raphael's Pixel, right there. Pixel Dan's favorite. We could go with Raphael. Is Raphael Pixel Dan's favorite? Absolutely. Excellent. All That's right. Good stuff. Let's see. Do you have tools? Oh, I have scissors. I can open it without scissors. As the biggest and oldest brother, Excuse me. I'm a professional at opening <laughs> toys. As the biggest <laughs> and oldest brother, <laughs> Raph is the self appointed leader <laughs> of the group. He thinks he can call, use his fists. To get himself out of any situation. But while Raph's muscles are bigger than his brain, his heart is bigger than his muscles. Aww. So that is a new thing. It's so nice. That Raph is the leader now. In the newest cartoon, Raph is now the leader. In Port with Leo. I'm okay. not sure how I feel about that, but, you know, we'll have to live with it. I guess we'll have to live with it. All I right. mean, it is what it is. The rebranding is coming back. You're going to be in stores that don't sell toys. There's only going to be a little section in stores. Okay. Oh. All right. It's like a department. Sounds good. I lost something already. Oh, it's just a flyer. We're okay. I, I think I Raph something. was the original leader back in the comics. Possible. Is that true? It's possible. 
Oh man, we got some extra stuff here. All right, so we got Raph. He's got like a big spiky shell on his back. Mm -hmm. He's got the full head bandana, which is sort of comes from the Michael Bay movies. Uh, and he's the biggest one, which they did that in the Michael Bay movies also. So there, it's, a, it's a new style for this show, which I mm. have not seen an episode of yet. Uh, although I heard it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely, the designs are a little bit inspired by the show. So he comes with, no longer are the size <laughs> his favorite weapon. He now comes with tampas, which are like nightsticks. Let's go. So this is the regular version of his weapon. But you can also clip on like these energy versions, like oh, over fancy, this. yeah. <laughs> Here's the other one, and he comes with two ninja stars, which will probably get lost right away. Should I throw one? And it'll get lost right away. Found it. Found it. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can put one of these on. Here's the other one. The energy ones. Should we do both of those or one of each type? I guess you can do one of each type. Show It'll it look weird, though. It will but... look weird. <laughs> Anybody has a good comment, feel free to read it aloud. There's the energy version. There's the regular version. So Raph always used size before, like little short knives. Yeah. But they, they changed it up. I guess size are no good anymore now. You got to just bludgeon people with blunt objects. I guess so. He's got articulation at the head. It's just a rotation point. His elbows, too. He's got shoulder joints that move in and out and around. His shell does get Whoa. in the way a little bit. That does not look like a good time. He's got elbow joints, move <laughs> about 90 degrees. Nice. And he's got wrist articulation. Nothing in the torso. <laughs> he has <laughs> hip joints. <laughs> And moving around. So much articulation. Knee joints. Wow. And ankle wow. rockers. Ooh. Oh, just ankle pivot. I'm sorry. Not ankle rockers. Oh. <laughs> what are, are you, you doing, doing to poor Rap? Yeah. Just showing off his articulation. You know, you got to <laughs> do that with these guys. Let's see. Can we get him? <laughs> you can get him in some. There we go. There's Raph for you. Decent amount of accessories with these guys. Yeah, it's really. pretty good. That's good. Is there any particular reason he has a like a bandage right here, um, or is that something else? No, I think it's a band aid. I think I think they just want to show he's tough. He has he in the last show he had like a crack mm -hmm. in his front show. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I think they're just okay. showing he's the bruiser. There he is. <laughs> Raph looks weird. So excited. All right. Let's say let's go with Leo. Nope. Yep, Leo. Leonardo. Leonardo. The blue one. The blue one. The, the, in my used, world, he's the blue one. <laughs> he used to be the leader. Leo is intelligent and quick-witted. He uses his sharp skills to beat opponents, find shortcuts around obstacles, and always knows the perfect time to land one of his favorite one-liners. So they're making Leo funny now, which he never was funny before. He was always the serious one. Says the trickster the on trickster. it. The trickster. Did, did he have one-liners before? No, never. No? Leo was the serious one. Hmm. He was the one that was always going, no, quit fooling around. Like, he was always a serious one. We have to train. We have to train. Quit fooling around. And now he's the trickster. Now he's oh, the how the times have changed. What is Ninja Turtles coming to these days? The trickster. Know. It says it right on it. Does he have a band-aid on his shell? He's got ninja stars. Ninja stars. All of the ninja stars. All of them. Katana. Katana. All oh, those four cards. <laughs> Leo. No band aid. He's got a blue skateboard. Does he stand? Oh, he's got he's got a little hole Eggs. here. Yeah. And he's got an energy version of his katana. Ooh, Ooh. that's nice. He can do like tricks and stuff. Oh, he is the trickster. <laughs> <laughs> he is the trickster. What? <laughs> What? There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and it does have wheels. It does roll. Sort of. Oh my gosh. Lost the... Uh... Does it roll? It does. Let me move right Can't tell. <laughs> this is going really well, you guys. It's excellent. <laughs> here we go. We'll try it again. I, mean, I got a short box here. There you go. He rolls. Okay. You should turn him this way so that... Oh, let's try it again. <laughs> they can see. Go ahead. There he is. Roll on... him again. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. There we go. There you go, Raph. 
energy katana. You just snap it in. Yeah. You ever play with an action figure before? Not really. It's okay. There he is. There he is. <laughs> he has a clip on his back to hold his sword. Hi, Red. Hello. I appreciate that you enjoy watching videos with me. I used to be called Red when I was younger, too. Oh, Raph has a spot to clip his tonfas on his belt. Oh. Most times in Ninja Turtles. Fancy. Oh, his clip's on his back? His does. Nice. He's got face paint. And he doesn't have the full... He's a painted turtle, so that's actually supposed to be his skin. They're all different types of okay. turtles in this version, which is new. Okay. So he has that's the red lines. And that's why they're supposed to be all different sizes, too. Like, they're different species. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a change, because they used to be four brothers. They were all, like, the same exact type of turtle. Now it's more like adopted brothers, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Baby right. turtle. Leo seems to have similar articulation to Raph. I don't see anything real different. No. Just I like the skateboard, though. Just Skateboard's fun. <laughs> seems like a Michelangelo accessory to me. Can he sit up here? I don't know. You don't we know. should probably... You know, migrate them? Bring I'll put one in. over here. Do you want to do you want to plug the, uh, the the prize the giveaway again? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, we are doing a giveaway during this live stream for those of you that have not or weren't here earlier. If you say hi in the chat, I'm going to put your name on this piece of paper. Put that piece of paper in my little winter hat here, and you will get four Dota two pops. We have Pudge, Juggernaut, Phantom Assassin, and we also have Spirit Breaker to hand out. Stop it, Green Yeti. Just kidding. Saying hi again and again and going, <laughs> oh, I don't collect pops. Okay. That's funny. So, <laughs> spoiler alert, Long's Toys says that Mikey has a skateboard, too. When is the next unboxing? When is the next unboxing? Like Right now. Yeah, right now. We're <laughs> Whenever we get the next shipment of Loot Crate, I, I don't control when. You're in red. We're going to do Donnie next. Donatello. Fun I had fact, to look. The, the least... <laughs> Hey, HCC, sorry Hi. here. How are you? Uh, Donnie is the turtle that sells the least. I is don't he? really know why, um, but he never sells as well. So occasionally there are uh, lines where they'll do like a special version of each one of them, and they'll only do three of the four turtles because he just doesn't sell as well. You know what? I'm going to become a Donatello collector. Yeah? Just did, to boost the sales. Did you know that, that one of our coworkers, Pretty Ricky, is a Donatello collector? What? He has. A, he Are has, you serious? He has like four or five Donatellos on his desk. I gotta beat him. Mm. I gotta beat him now. Okay. So. Donatello's bio. Let's see if they've changed him. Donnie, Donnie is the coolest tech whiz ever. Being a soft shell turtle oh. may be a drawback in the ninja world. But with his series of battle shells and transforming bio staff, Donnie can fight on any foe. Bio, Take on any foe. Bio staff? Or bow staff, I'm sorry. Bow staff? Bow tech staff. bow staff. Tech, bo transforming bow staff. Oh. He's the tech whiz. He's the tech whiz. So he hasn't really changed. They just gave an explanation for why in the... <laughs> eh, why he has all the junk on his back in the Michael Bay movie. Because he has okay. a soft shell and he protects it with his... That makes a lot of sense. So. Sorry, I need to know more about Pretty Ricky. Oh, you need to know more about Pretty Ricky? Um, I don't want to like air somebody's personal business, but he's a coworker of ours and his friends in high school gave him that name and he uses that nickname for a side profession. That's totally, totally safe. Uh, but it sounds like it's not, um, but I, but if you Googled it, you might, I don't know. Like, I don't want you to, don't, no, so I'm not going to say no, what's professional, don't. but, uh, yeah, it's like, an you're image. making it sound so much worse it's than totally it is. Clean. <laughs> it's totally clean. But it's funny as all get out. It's so funny. Donnie has ninja stars also. We'll throw them at the screen. I'm gonna lose them all. That's all right. Gonna lose all of them. He's got a drone. Googling <laughs> now. Ooh, that's a sweet drone. It's purple. I like it. Welcome back. Hi, Gummy. Okay, so he, that's the transforming. He has the regular staff. version and the energy version of okay. the transforming bow staff. He has the drone. He has at least one ninja star. Oh, the drone fits. Oh, up. oh the drone is one of the shells. Okay. okay, that's neat. Covers up the entirety of that soft shell. Protects him. That's Can real cool. Move the mic, sorry. 
<laughs> Leo. I'm gonna start collecting Donatello. I gotta, I gotta beat out pretty Ricky. Just put him on my desk. <laughs> I'll bring him down every single time I go and visit his <laughs> his work area. Uh, okay. <laughs> so he's about the same size as Leo, maybe a little bit smaller. He's got the the goggles like uh, Ray and Ghostbusters. That's what I always think when I see him. Yeah, I like them. Uh, I like the ones like super yeah, one long. taller than the other one. Yeah, he's got like a good. shell belt buckle. He's got the full bandana too. He does have the full bandana. Mm-hmm. No, no uh, Nintendo controller this time. In the movie, he has like a N64 controller or something. On so he's still like techie? He's the techie. Okay. Thanks, Red. Donatello does machines was the line in the original cartoon theme. So like the one line quick explanation of them. Yeah. Leonardo leads. Donatello does machines. Gotcha. There's so many. All the ninja stars are All with Raph. Stars. It's fine. <laughs> How are we doing? Any, any good comments while we're there? Uh, pretty good. Great nickname. Uh, Red says that we're fun and should do more live streams. I agree. Tony, Where are the streets? The movies, the street <laughs> hack the movies. How's it going, Tony? No street sharks here, buddy, but they are jawsome. <laughs> we missed you at RetroCon. Why weren't you there? We did. Oh my gosh, RetroCon was so much fun. Did we talk about RetroCon yet? No. No. No, we didn't. So, RetroCon... <laughs> Was last weekend. Yes. On Friday and Saturday. No, it was Saturday and Sunday. I have to take it back. I apologize. <laughs> um, Saturday. I, I mean, I don't want to give it all away. You should check out our video for sure. Hi, Wrangle Tank. That's Tony. Tony. Hi, Tony. We're talking about your con right now. It was so much fun. Hey, Rose, if you're there watching also. Hi, Rose. So, RetroCon on Saturday, we got to hang out with Pixel Dan a bunch. Yes. We got to meet Larry Kenny, the voice of Lion-O. So cool. Um, we got to go see the Cybertronic Spree, which, if you have not seen the Spree... <sighs> Thank you. There's so much fun. Like, I had an absolute blast. Listen, any age group would enjoy them, yes. because I'm a 90s kid, and they played the Pokemon theme, and I was jamming out the whole time it was awesome they played so many tv themes that that everybody knows and loves and mm -hmm. it was just they had so much energy the whole time and rose went up on the stage and it was so cool to just acknowledge rose like that because she and tony worked super hard on the con and yeah. we had a blast during it it was really good so then on sunday we got to meet the rest of the guests i mean they were there but Did he still just... sound like Andy's Lino? Oh yeah, yeah. He sounds he sounds great. <laughs> yeah, he's some of awesome. the voice actors, you know, they, their voice ages a little bit. Larry Kenny sounds really good. Um, so then we met B.J. Ward, who voices mm -hmm. Scarlet and Velma and Velma. Yes, I was excited about and that Princess one. And Princess Alora from Voltron. Mm -hmm. Pilots the Blue Lion. Blue Lion's hiding behind you right now. The big Voltron. There it is. Now people can see him. Voltron. <laughs> um, we met Gary Chalk, who was. Optimus Primal in Transformers Beast Wars. That's a 90s cartoon. And uh, he was also in a bunch of other stuff, but he was in the in the second G.I. Joe series as a couple characters. And he was Man-at-Arms in the 2002 He-Man okay. series. Okay, was he... Really we met Grimlock, too. Was we met that Grimlock. Him? That's Greg Berger. Okay. That's the other one. Okay. And Greg... We actually... <laughs> the guy in front of us in line had Greg record some stuff in, like... Oh voices from All Real Monsters and a couple other shows. It was that was a lot the of coolest thing. Really cool. I my jaw just hit the floor because it was like listening to him through the cartoon. Yeah. It was so cool. It was really neat. Yeah. So I got a couple autographs from those guys. Yeah. And we met. Uh, well, I didn't meet, but you met James, the angry video game. Nerd. I did. He was so nice. He was He's a really cool. really nice guy. We uh. We hosted Pixel Dan's uh panel. We did. Was that, that was Sunday? on Saturday. Was that Saturday? It was Saturday. We skipped oh. that part. We, oh, did. we did that. We hosted that was a good the time. Panel. Uh, he talked all about slime. Look for his episode of Toy Explosion on the slime toys. It should be coming out this weekend is his plan. Yeah. If he got the editing done. That was uh, what his uh, panel was about. It was kind of like a live version of the, the slime stuff. Yeah, his panel. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was It was like we showed some of the video Fossil clips. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, it, it was awesome. It was, it was a lot of fun. And then we did a little Q&A. And we gave away a bunch of pops there, too. Yes, we did. And now we're giving away more pops. Yeah. We so get... make sure to say hi in the chat if you want your name in there to get these Dota, Dota pops. 2 pops. Um, Sorry. Was there anything else? else? We did. A, I, I got, like, 10 Game of Thrones pops. We have a haul video coming out. On uh, Sunday. Sunday, I'm gonna yep. edit it. It'll be on, on Sunday. Sunday. Hi, Red. <laughs> 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 Only one time. <laughs> I got the names. I got the names. <laughs> I should get another paper. Actually, thanks. Is it time for Mikey, or is there any other good comments we need to respond to? Any questions? Gumby wants the Phantom. Mm. But aren't we giving all four away? Yeah, I think we're just gonna do person? all four. One, mm -hmm. one prize. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be. It's, it's high stakes, high reward. High stakes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Red's stacking Back in the, the deck. deck. You know, as as Reds do. It's like what you do. <laughs> All right, so let's let's see Mikey's bio here. He's the wild card. You and never know what you're gonna get with him. You never just, know. He's just the wild card. What's Hoodie Coco saying over there? This is not a good con. Don't respond <laughs> to it. You just you just gave in. Oh darn. As the youngest turtle, ducks are next. Mikey has a wild and colorful personality. He is an artist and spends his time tagging the turtle lair and his shell with graffiti. Mm. He's an eternal optimist and an absolute natural at ninjutsu. He's a box okay. turtle. He's a box turtle mm. and a natural at ninjutsu. Ninjutsu. Okay. And he's the wild card. I knew a guy in college who was a black belt ninjutsu. He was an actual ninja. That's pretty cool. My sister is a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. But she can't say she's a ninja. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, be... she practiced on me a lot. I'm, so, I mean. I'm not taking anything away from her that she's a second degree she's black belt. She's also a cop but... now. Yeah. Like, she'd, she'd beat you up but for saying But this guy that. was actually a ninja. Like, he can say that. It was amazing. <laughs> and now he's like a psychologist or something. Just bizarre. How do you go from ninjas? I guess there's not a lot of money to be made in being a ninja. These days. There could be a lot of money in there being a be. ninja. There could be. Ninja. We wouldn't know. Ninja for hire. We don't know any ninjas. So, hey, um, hi, Bert Macklin. <laughs> <laughs> FBI. <laughs> if anybody says they're a ninja, they're not a ninja. <laughs> no, this guy really had a Bert Macklin, your name's in for the drawing. Oh, he comes with stickers for graffiti. Oh, there we go. That's cool. I like that. Should we put some on there? What, on the screen? No. On the camera? No, on the shell. Oh, then he won't be mint condition anymore. Gotta save the stickers. Collectors, am I right? Everybody in the chat is like, <laughs> you totally can't apply those stickers. <laughs> he comes with a crazy nunchuck with a little spiky thing on it. He comes with one with a boxing glove on it. Nice. Looks like a flail. Or are they all... Like that? I like the boxing glove. That's really funny. <laughs> He's got a three segmented nunchuck. I know there's a special name for that, but I forget what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> because he's a box turtle. I get it. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. There's my key. Got like he's got a skateboard too. He's pretty, pretty little. He's the, the you know, he's the a numbers. wild card. So, oh, he's got a clip here for a nunchuck. Okay, that seems. Did you do the glove? Awkward. No, I did the, the other one. The glove's the best one. Can we do it so? It's... <laughs> Punching him in the face. Yep. That's I funny. guess so. There's no, his we skateboard. won't do that. It looks funny though. It can roll. I think it rolls better we'll than it. Leo's. That's better. Oh, yeah, that does definitely roll better. And he's got ninja stars. Let's see if I can lose this one again. No. <laughs> Mikey, what have they done to you? If I win anything, leave a comment on your latest video because I'm going somewhere. Okay, Gumby. There. He's not going to say... It could be because of how I positioned him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if he's like this, we bounce better. 
Well, what? Leo's like that. Did you just throw Raph away? He's just I gone. I just moved him. Yep, good. So, here's Raph. When this channel started, he is really small yeah, well, compared he's, to he's the other like ones. The baby brother. Oh, okay. When this channel started, I was making lots and lots of Ninja Turtle videos, like definitely targeted at kids, where I was like being the voices of all the turtles. Right. And Mikey was always one, the best one to do. I think he had the, the funnest voice. Leo was just my voice. I'd just be like, hey, I'm Leo. And Donatello was the nerd voice. Hey, guys, it's Donatello. Hey. <laughs> Raph got the, uh, the deep Brooklyn accent from the 90s movie. What are you guys doing over here? What's going on? And Mikey is, <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? Booyakasha, cowabunga. That's the Mikey voice. The people at Playmates thought it was pretty I'm good. I'm sorry, I just have to process that. There you go. Have fun with that one. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure collectors will be upset saying they're not the official stickers. They are the official stickers. Are they the official stickers? It came with the figure. Came with the figure? I mean, are, are, were there other stickers? Why is there poop in there? Because poop emoji is cool. Emoji. They got to be trendy with the kids. Don't you know what the kids are into these days? It's not even the legit. All right. Well, they, it's copyrighted, the legit Hey, one. Mikey's voice is on point. Mikey's voice, I told you. <laughs> Booyakasha! <laughs> one, Cowabunga, dude! That one terrifies me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Um, are you guys dressing up for Halloween? And do we get a Halloween special video? I wouldn't be opposed. I've been trying to figure out a Halloween costume. Mm. Uh, so, feel free to comment redheaded cartoon characters so, so that I don't need a wig. I might recycle a costume I already have for a, a Screenwave party. So, so SEO Toy Review is part of Screenwave Media. It's one of the YouTube networks. And we're going to a party there. And yes. I, I might wear my Optimus Prime costume for that. That's good. Although the, the, the helmet does get annoying at parties when you have a thing over your mouth the whole time. So I'm unsure about that. Retro Now is here. Hey, how's it going, Matt? Hi, Retro Now. Um, and... Uh, but I have an idea for work, but it's like a, it's like a work, like an in work, in, in joke at work. It's kind of like a gag thing. And I don't want to tell you cause I'll just, I want to surprise everybody. You know, I don't put it out on the internet now, but, uh, it's kind of an in joke for work and it's not really like collector related. So I probably wouldn't wear, wear mm. that one to the screenway party cause everyone at screenway would just be like, why? Man, now I really want to know what he's going to wear to work. <laughs> I, if I get it, if I get around to putting it together, I don't know. Yeah. Show us what. Is it a sexy Optimus Prime costume? No, it's not a sexy Optimus Prime costume. I can't pull that off. April? Yeah. You need a yellow we, jumpsuit? We actually discussed this. At RetroCon. At RetroCon. Yes, we that, did. Uh, I, I, we can't discuss <laughs> why, but there was there, there's the, a possibility of a Ninja Turtle event being planned while we were there. And if that happened, we're getting our yellow jumpsuit. <laughs> and if it's all Ninja Turtle themed, we need an April for sure. <laughs> it's a Galobulus costume. Yes, Raggedy I Ann. Galobulus. Scarlet. Scarlet has definitely it's been a so. contender. Yep. We've touched, discussed yep. that. Yep. Need a good. I need a good DIY. Like I, I don't want to go and buy one. I want to make it. All right. What else we got? It's duck time. There's, there's, there is a Ninja Turtle bad guy, but if, did we want to do him in a row? I heard there was some requests for this. There were requests for ducks. So. It would be awesome. Transformers and TMNT are my favorite. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. That would so be the, a good time. So the, the Transformers costume. DuckTales. Woo! <laughs> the history of my Transformers costume. I built it. I was a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man for Halloween one year. At my work. I've seen pictures. Yeah. And it was really it was a really big box. And the shoulders were here. And then the head was on top of that. And I did it on purpose to be... <gasps> like annoying like to walk around in it like bump into people and stuff but did then, you bump into people oh all the time nice and the, the arms were just glued on the side of the box so <laughs> i just walked around with my arms at my side and while wearing it, i was like i need a like a cardboard box costume that's articulated so that's when i decided i'm gonna be a transformer so nice. i made prime the next year i wore it for halloween then i wore it to a costume contest at a convention called zolo world which is actually when i met rose and tony for the first time my that's friend, right my friend didn't Paul, the uh didn't the head get destroyed? That was later. That's the next time I wore it. <sighs> so I got third place in a costume contest after Rose got second place, and a little kid in a store-bought Spider-Man costume got first place. 
Little and kids, they beat you every time. They're so adorable. How can you not vote for them? Right? So then the costume went just like just in the closet for a while. And then the local comic book store, Wade's Comic Madness, shout out if you've ever Shout been out there. to Wade's. Yeah, in Levittown, Pennsylvania. Uh, Wade was looking for cosplayers to walk in the St. Patrick's Day parade to promote the store. That's the story, I know. And I had only <laughs> ever been to Wade's once before. But everybody like that lived down here was telling me, I was right after I moved down here, I was like, you got to go to Wade's, you got to go to Wade's, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, all right, let me go do this parade thing with them. And I hit it off with everybody there, had such a good time. And uh, it started to snow during the parade, and I'm wearing a cardboard box costume. <sighs> I'm like, okay. Ringed. <laughs> the kid got first place. The kid got first place, yeah, yeah. Totally was, ringed. Was the parents were going around, yo, you better vote for my kid. And then... Uh, <laughs> So we had to get in the back of a pickup truck to be driven back from the end of the parade back to where we parked. And so there was like six or eight cosplayer people all had to get in this truck. And I couldn't bend my knees very far because of the way the costume was made. So I had to just sit on the tailgate. So I just sort of chucked the helmet in because when the when I sat down, like leaning back a little bit to get on the tailgate, it pushed the shoulder pads up and was pushing the helmet off. So I just right. kind of chucked it behind me. And then someone got in over the side of the truck and crushed the helmet to my costume. And it was already wet and soggy. So that was the end of the helmet. But I rebuilt it last year for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Um, I've already done... I did Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. And I also... I was Dorothy last year from the Wizard Boss. So mm-hmm. I need something ginger-related. This cartoon. And you, you've been uh, a Weasley, too, right? From Harry Potter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was Ginny already. Actually, funny story. Mm. Um, the there were casting calls for Ginny Weasley when I was a kid, when I was in like first and second grade, and I saw commercials for it on on TV. And I really wanted to call and audition, but I didn't because I was too nervous. You didn't have an authentic British accent either. I'm not going to embarrass myself and try one right now, but it's not that bad. I think that was one of the requirements, though. They really wanted actual British people, right. for all those roles. Yeah, I did. I did Miss Frizzle already. The magic school bus was good. All right. I had the chameleon and stuff. Yes. I saw a picture of it once. Yes. It was good. Are we doing DuckTales? I could be Ron this year. Yeah, I'll chop my hair off. (laughs) Actually, later books Ron would work, but. Mm. (laughs) Oops, there goes Raph. Come on, Raph. How about Chucky? Oh my god. I know. Not a girl, but still retro. I like it. We can't make this work. There's, we're all just all right. collapsing. Goodbye. Bye, turtles. Bye. Clear the field a little bit. It's duck time. Duck Woo. Time. Woo. So, ha- have you seen much of DuckTales? Any DuckTales? <sighs> a little bit when I was a kid. Yeah. Scrooge. Scrooge and Launchpad. So, I don't, I don't remember Launchpad, but I remember Scrooge and I remember the Christmas special. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Okay. That's classic. So, DuckTales kind of came uh, out of the fact that there was a comic called Uncle Scrooge. Mm-hmm. It's one of the earliest, like, popular, best-selling comics. And Uncle Scrooge comics featured Uncle Scrooge and Donald and... Sorry. And his nephew, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. <laughs> and they, they were adventure comics. They, they were always going someplace different looking for some sort of treasure. Right. And then they decided sometime in the 90s they were going to do this, like, revive it as DuckTales. But there was some sort of weird licensing thing with Donald. They didn't want Donald in it, so he really wasn't in the show at all. Right. And then they kind of created some new characters, like Launchpad, who is that a That was pilot. the version that I watched, but I was I was young right. in the 90s. So right. I watched it all the time. Loved it. The NES game is amazing. Um, the comics, if you, if you can get, like, reprints of them, are really good. And Red says, please remind me about the 80s specials. Been a while. 80s specials? Special. Gizmo Duck. Gizmo Duck. That's, yeah, Gizmo Duck was awesome. Actually, all right, side, side conversation to earlier. Side conversation to earlier. Do you guys know about the Funko uh, Disney Afternoon toys that they've been doing? Oh. They did Scrooge. They did um, Chip and Dale. They just announced Gizmo Duck. And Baloo from Tailspin. And they I'm look so, so good. Excited for Gizmo they Duck. look so good. I want them so bad. So we're gonna try Gizmo Duck. Gizmo Duck. Mm. If you know Gizmo Duck's magic Christmas word, special. put it in the comments right now. Anybody know Gizmo Duck's 
There it is, blathering blatherskites. There it is. Man, Way to go, on, Red. On the ball. Man. That's awesome. Uh, the Christmas special. Oh. Um, the Christmas special was the story of, of Scrooge, and it had, like, the three, like, the ghosts of Christmas yeah, it's, past, present, it's future. The, the Disney version of A Christmas Carol. Yeah. The Charles Dickens story. Yeah. But Scrooge this guy plays Scrooge. Was Scrooge. Mm-hmm. And Mickey yes. plays Bob Cratchit. Yes. Yes. It was very good. It's a classic. If you haven't seen it, I don't know how you... How, how I didn't watch any of those shows. I'm only 13. Wow, but I think they still play it. I think they Maybe did they too. You should, you should, you should YouTube it. It's probably on there. This I'm sure it is. It's the Disney A Christmas Carol or whatever it's called. I don't know. All right, so Scrooge, we got Scrooge here. They switched him back to his red outfit for the new DuckTales cartoon. Mm -hmm. In the 90s, he wore blue, but yes. in the original comics, he always wore red. Gotcha. So switched him back. I love the glasses on him. Mm -hmm. They're great. The back shows we've got Donald, Scrooge McDuck, Launchpad McQuack, Flint Hart Glom, Glom Blue Gold. Wow. wow. Flint Hart Glom Gold. That's the bad guy. He's got a Scottish accent. Louie and Webby and Dewey and Huey. Where's Lou? Oh, there is Louie. Here are all the ones you can collect on the back. There you go. Here they are. I'm sure it shows backwards to them, but you can at least see what they look like. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. Open away. I'm Open terrible up. at unboxing, which is so bad for an unboxing channel. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> She'll get better. Or I'll just keep banding them off. That's fine. And the card art. Just thrown away. <laughs> Does the hat come off or no? I don't think He stands so. nicely. His arms move. N nothing other than that, though. Head does, too. Head articulation. Head articulation. Is it a ball joint? Yep. Ball joint can move up and down and spin around. I'm learning new words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shoulders are just a swivel. No wrist articulation. He's got the cane. Yeah, nothing at the legs. Interesting. He comes with his cane, and he comes with a little idol. Not his lucky dime. Not the lucky dime. Not the lucky dime. We'll go with that. I like how the idol looks like a baby Donald, sort of. <laughs> I can't attach this. I can't do it. It doesn't want to go in. Okay. You know what? He can magically walk again. It's fine. He doesn't need his cane. He <laughs> Bless me, bagpipes. <laughs> he barely uses the cane, really. Oh, there you go. There you go. Man, you're a pro. <laughs> I've been playing with toys for a long time. What we got here? Legs move, but kind of hindered. Oh, they do move, apparently. Do they? Oh, the jacket, the jacket is in the way. Yeah. I kind of like it when toys can sit down. It's always kind of disappointing when they can't, but... Yeah, the legs are mm. stuck by the coat. A little less action-based. He looks inside. great, though. Love the glasses. Good. They look so good. Anybody still For watching twins? the new DuckTales? I watched the first few episodes. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it's a uh, you know different 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 humor style than the original show, but you okay. know it's hip and modern. It's hip and modern. Yeah, Bobby Moynihan from Saturday Night Live does one of the oh one okay of the voices. that's cool. Which yeah. one? Huey, Dewey, Louie? I'm not sure. They're so interchangeable. That's okay. I don't know the answer either. <laughs> and then we got Launchpad. Red says McQuack. first episode looked okay. Uh huh. Oh, he puts his dime in his suit in the new show. Oh, he's that's like where in it is. Or something. Which pocket? I don't know. It's not removable. Well, I don't see it under there. Mm -hmm. So I got launch. Is that a ninja star? No, uh, it was the idol. It was the idol. We got Launchpad. Launchpad was one of my favorite characters as a kid. I know, like my friend Mike Matei can't stand Launchpad because he was invented for the cartoon, and he's so goofy. He's always like, "What's going on, Mister McD?" And that drives Mike insane. <sighs> but I thought he was hilarious as a kid, so I, I had to get the figure of him. Hoodie's Did right. Do you have the Retro McDuck, the one released last year? The Funko one, yeah. You do? Do you? I thought I did. Where is it? I don't know. All I Would can it see, be with the other ones? All I can see is Chip and Dale over there. I would have thought he was with them. Mm. Uh, you should probably check. Uh, where would I have put him? Did I never review him? Is he still sealed in the package somewhere in this house? <sighs> it's a nightmare. Can you Can you entertain these people? Should I go look? Yeah, I can entertain these people. All right. I'll be right back. Hi, everybody. I can entertain you. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Darkwing Duck. 
<laughs> dark wing duck how's everybody doing good good any other halloween costume suggestions i'm writing all these down too on another piece of paper yeah entertain us i'm trying <laughs> uh let's see Janine from Ghostbusters. I like it. Plot point in the new show is figuring out what happens to the triplets' mom. That's cool. I haven't seen any of the new show yet, but I'd really like to. Um, I don't have cable, though, so can you stream it on, um, on like, Netflix or Hulu or Prime? Because I have all those. Can you stream it somewhere so that I can watch it? Yes. No, maybe. I guess I could just uh, do a Google on it. <laughs> My favorite retro cartoon. Well, I'm a 90s kid, so I haven't seen a lot of the retro cartoons, but I did watch a lot of Pokemon. I watched a lot of uh, Real Monsters and Cat Dog and Doug and I watched um, Angry Beavers I loved and Rugrats and all that cool stuff. I, I was a total 90s kid. My favorite Pokemon to start was always Bulbasaur. Always. And uh, all my friends liked Charmander and they liked Squirtle but I was the I was the green the green one. I'm totally stumped. Bulba. Sorry. Either can't find it? either I reviewed him and I don't know where I put the figure, or he's still in the package, he's but he's just kind of piled in the toys package somewhere. somewhere. Bulba, yeah, Bulbasaur. I don't know. I could use my phone to look at my old videos. <laughs> Have you tried dressing like the headless man horse? He's a creature in the new show. <laughs> Bulba is the best, Burke Macklin. All right, so we can't we can't compare them, but they're similar. I think this one's skinnier. A little more slim and trim than the rounded down, 90s one. You know what? It's probably the coat. The coat. The coat slimming. just slims them down a little bit. But What's your favorite Pokemon? What's favorite Pokemon? Uh, Hold on. I have a few other favorites that you can steal. Mm -hmm. I like um, I like Ninetales a lot. I, I think Squirtle's really my favorite. All right. But <laughs> Squirtle, Squirtle. Oh, you guys should check out our uh, bootleg Pokemon video. Yes. It's hilarious. <laughs> We got all these bootlegs from China somewhere. 144 <laughs> bootleg Pokemon from China. <laughs> and we tried to name them all. It was, it was ridiculous. You know what? I did okay. I, I got a few I wrong terrible. at the beginning. And then I corrected myself by the end. So if you stick through the end, I get most of them right. Except I said slow poke instead of slow bro. Squirtle represent. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I have some, some Bulba represent right there. there from Burt Macklin. FBI. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Launchpad McQuack. Launchpad. Sorry, we got off topic. You know, Mr. McD, any crash you can walk away from is a good landing. <sighs> the name Launchpad reminds me of the Disney movie The Rescuers when they had, like, yeah. these mice that would ride on the seagull. On the seagull, yeah. Or albatross. Oh, it's an albatross? Mm hmm. Are you sure? Mm hmm. It's voiced by John Candy in the first one. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, because John Candy had passed away, it mm -hmm. was like. The bird's cousin. I think it's an albatross. Somebody somebody, check it because we're in the middle of doing this. Anyway, the name the Launchpad reminds me of that. Okay. Get to Got the wrench. Goggles. Or, 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 not, not, this binoculars. He's, he's wearing a, he's wearing a oh, face Look at that hat. <laughs> he's got like oh, a face he looks so annoying. He looks so annoying. So you don't like Launchpad? Look at the sides of his beak. Oh, it's man. like a it's like a superhero chin for a duck. It is. It almost seems like he's a pelican. What is on this? I, I noticed that. There's like a paint paint mishap on this one. There's a paint mishap. He's not worth anything. I should have I'm just kidding. I should have looked more carefully. I was in Don't like the new version of Launchpad. I don't know what he sounds like, or I don't remember. First what he's episode doing. is on YouTube on the official Disney. Yeah, that's where I channel watch for it. free. I have to check. I have to check it out. His Another list. launch pad landing. Because <laughs> I almost threw him. Because you almost threw him. <laughs> it's good. His legs move a little bit, but again, pretty much hindered. He's got arms that swivel all the way around. 
That's good. Head articulation. He's pretty buff. He's definitely buff. He skips leg day, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can he hold the wrench? Oh, my the gosh. He can't multitask. Drop the wrench. <laughs> right, yeah. He cannot multitask. Kevin, Orko or Snark? Only choose one. Snarf. Orko or Snarf. I think I'd have to go with Orko because he's a little bit less annoying. Snarf is out of control. Do you have any impressions? Snarf, Snarf! No, stop. <laughs> okay, Orko it is. That's the official channel decision. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he really does skip leg day. Look at those little things. His legs are skinnier than Look surgery. at them! <laughs> it's all upper body. All bench presses and <sighs> all right are we ready to switch gears back to the ninja turtles yes we have a ninja turtle villain for you right we have the, right we have the one that's been getting all the press you're welcome red this is the one everybody's been talking about since toy fair meet sweat. everyone meet sweat all new bad guy hold up hold up just a reminder that we're doing this giveaway all right remind he me. reminds me of pudge hmm What's going on? Pudge's box is like falling. I don't apart. know. I'll fix him. All right. There we go. All better. He reminds me of Punch. And these are not. <laughs> and these are not the pops that we opened for Erica's birthday. No, I have those sitting she on my those. shelf at home. There was a slight mishap. Best birthday gift ever. We got a second set, so we're giving them away. <laughs> Trick question. The correct answer was Purvis. Oh. Okay. Okay. So meat sweat. <laughs> Let's hear his bio. Once a human celebrity chef, Meat Sweats is now incredibly strong mutant pig with a menacing meat tenderizer hammer and arms made of strange tendrils that <laughs> latch onto other mutants and absorb their powers. Wow, so he's not just the muscle. He's actually like a... It's like rogue. He can suck the energy out of other people. Interesting. So there's two other bad guys. Baron Draxum and the Origami Ninja. Which is like the foot soldier and shredder, basically, of right. the version. So Meat Sweat is sort of like Does the it, Bebop and Rocksteady. What does it say? The Tenderizer. The Tenderizer. He's the Tenderizer. And those are all the other ones that you can get down at the bottom. That's gross. Ew, that's gross. I love it. Pudge uses his hook to hook other uh, heroes and bring them in, and then he feasts on them. His Meat Tenderizer is very tiny compared to what it looked like in the art. <laughs> Where's the card? Get it back here. We need a we need a comparison shot here. Don't steal Pixel Dan's tagline. Oh, I didn't I didn't even know that was it's comparison time. No, 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 no. I'm just going to look at this one and then also look at this one and see if they're similar or different. I don't know. They look about the same size. All right, I thought it looked. I was imagining it being bigger. Based on the card art. What Ooh. time is giveaway? The giveaway is going to be at the end of the stream. So we have this one, and we have something else to open up, and then... And then it's giveaway time. We're and then, close. like, we'll uh, maybe do a little bit of a Q&A. Yeah, but... we'll do the Q&A after the giveaway. That way, All right, people, there if they we have go. to go, they can go. That sounds good. We I get can't it. attach. There we go. You did it! I attached it. Yes! Yay! So do you remember Lord Drax from the last few seasons of the original show? I do. They actually made not. a figure of him... <laughs> In the, what is now not the newest version, the Nicktoons version, they redid him. Mm. Um, I didn't remember him as a kid, but I bought the entire series on DVD and saw him there. So he's got funky peat pig feet with articulation at the hips. He's got, got a rubbery apron. Okay. He's got a big hulking it's mint body. Green. It's a mint green apron. Articulation at the shoulders, it works pretty well, moves in and Do out. Do elbows move? He's got elbows that bend just a little bit. <laughs> ah, and there's a pivot. You're waving with the tenderizer. <laughs> He's got Does he smell? Like Does the figure actually smell, Kevin? I have no idea. <laughs> mm, that new toy smell. I have no idea. He doesn't smell. He smells like vinyl. And you can pull a hand off. Bye, Retro Now. Have a good See weekend. You, you can pull his hand off. And attach the disgusting tendril. Oh, snap. Oh. Ooh. Oh. That's a tight fit. 
Kevin doesn't have a sense of smell, so I have to smell the things. Right, I don't. I can't smell stuff. <laughs> it's my weakness. There's no pain apps on the tendrils, but he can definitely absorb. At least he did it. He got his powers. He beat Leo. He's gone. He beat Leo. The you tendril know, thing we're is gonna, gross. We're gonna send. Whoa! The whole bag of his soft shell oh, wow. just came off. Sorry. That's neat. I'll show everybody that. Did they I, see it? I didn't mean to do that. Not only does I the tried drone... to take the drone off and I took off like the entire There's shell. Also a techno shell. <laughs> the techno shell. We did Here. not demonstrate that. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. There. Good you know, effects. the good guys have to win. That's true. Always. I can't get the shell back on. There we go. You did it. All right. Is cool. it giveaway time? It's giveaway time. Last Bye. chance. If you need to get in on this giveaway, you gotta say hi in the comments. Yes. How are you with scissors? I'm pretty proficient. All right, I'll take it. Okay. Pretty proficient is okay with you? Bye! Yeah, pretty proficient is good. Here. Cut all of them. And then we're going to put them in this hat. It is giveaway time. We have our Dota Pops. We have Spirit Breaker. We have Juggernaut. We have Phantom Assassin. And we have Pudge. All four of them are going to one of you lucky winners special thanks to our friends at funko for hooking thank us up. you so much funko and i got to keep a set of my own and we also got one from gamestop we got earth shaker yeah, we'll that one's the one that i got to keep it was for my birthday it was awesome they were so cool all right they're all cut up did you get both pages i did okay in the hat shake it up whoa, 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 whoa. all right they're in good this one wasn't one right this is scribbled out. That's scribbled out. Green Yeti was like, there you go, I Green. want in. And then Green Yeti does not want Then Green Yeti was like, pops. nah, I don't he's collect out. pops. He's out. So he's out. <laughs> You're welcome, Ren. All right, ready? Moment of truth. I should let you do the drum roll. You You're, should. <laughs> You're far more qualified than I am. Oh, you you pull it out. Yeah, I'll do the drum roll. Oh, all right. Tony from Hack the Movies. Oh, Hack man. the Movies. Everyone's going to think it's rigged. Here they are. All right, Tony. Pudge, Phantom Assassin. You got Juggernaut and Spirit Breaker. They're all going to you, Tony. I'll drop them off to you sometime. Sounds good. Gosh, dang it. Sorry, Red. Sorry, bud. All right, these are the four. And I have, have one more thing to open. One here. more toy to unbox. It's totally unrelated and something that I'm kind of excited about. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Odie. We have another pop from Funko. And <laughs> I'm taking this one home with me. I hope you don't mind. You're stealing my pop? Can I take it? <laughs> I guess Please. so. Oh. It's, well, you guys can decide, I guess. But I really want it. It's, it's Bob Ross. <laughs> It's amazing. Can't you do one for each instead of all? We could have, but we we did announce that it was going to be all we for one. We did. Maybe Tony will pop back in and say he doesn't want them. That's it. true. Tony, hello. Tony from Hack the Movies. He's not even watching anymore. He's he's Bob Ross. Loser. Maybe I'll message him. Here's our Bob Ross pop. Check him out. Look at this little, this little easel. It's a palette. He all right. Excuse me. The easel is the thing. That it's it. gone. Everything's gone. But it does that sometimes. Okay. Oh, it's back. It's weird. There's a Bob Ross Funko Pop. Apparently, there there's are multiple. More than one. There's one with a giant paintbrush. What? And I think there's one with a flock hair. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. So, he paints all of his happy little trees and his happy little squirrels. Yep. And look at the expression on his face. He's just so kind. Just so happy. Happy little accidents. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they are. I can't get the messenger thing on Twitter. It's not working. I was going to direct message Tony just in case he didn't want it, but it's not here's working. Bob Ross. Who's Bob Ross? Did somebody ask? No, I said here's Bob oh, Ross. Here's Bob Ross. Yeah. He's here's a good Bob one. Ross. So, can I have it? Or should Kevin have it? They're going to side with you. I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure. But look at him, though. I would take good care of him. <laughs> you beat Green Yeti says, just let her have it. See, I said they're going to side with you. <laughs> 
fine. Yes. Fine. Look, also, Hoodie all says these... it. Yeah, gotta do it then. Tony Saul's okay. Tony Saul's okay. <laughs> He's pretty good at sewing. <laughs> he called me. <laughs> She's a redhead. Think of the consequences. <laughs> you red in your beard, though. I do. So I don't know. I think it'd be a pretty even match. He called. He called. He me. called me. Tony <laughs> called Red. Said give him away. Says it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Did he answer you? No, I couldn't. I couldn't message him. It wasn't loading. There we go. Now it's working. It's working. We're gonna check Red. Heck. If you if not, you can just go to his channel and just like harass him. Hack the movies. That's true. We could do that. Hey, Tony. You won the pops. But I get to keep Bob. <laughs> away. Do you want them? He always narrates everything that he's writing. <laughs> Phone. Question mark. No. <laughs> Are you guys married? No. <laughs> We already did the review, the uh, the drawing. So I, well, I'll put your name down anyway, Philip. Philip Gonzalez. We'll see if he gets back to us before this ends. I hope so. We'll see. Maybe he's gonna be really excited. Maybe he's a big Dota two fan. And I don't. I don't he know could be. I never win anything except for all that stuff I won. Do you, does anybody? <laughs> if you guys watch Cinemasker, the AVGN's channel. Tony appears on some of the rental reviews videos that they're doing now. Their new, their new show. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. You told me you were gonna take care of him. I am. There we go. Listen, pops come in great fan friendly packaging. It's like you've heard it before. <laughs> I stole the frames. What video is coming next? Do you subscribe to Nickelodeon Toonbox? Uh, we did an unboxing from um, Kid Robot. We did. Right? And we're keeping an eye out on the next stuff that's going to be released from them. Mm -hmm. um, but if anybody has suggestions for some 90s stuff for us to review, I'm the girl. Yeah. I got you. So our <laughs> next video that Erica's in is going to be Sunday. It's going to be the haul video from Retro Yes. Con. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be Sunday at uh, what time? Uh, 9 a.m. Nine o'clock in the morning. Weekend videos come out at nine. You'll get to see all of our stuff. GI Joe, uh, GI Joe, GI Joe. There will be some GI Joe material. Is later. there? You know what? I, oh, there is. There's one. Well, there's one GI Joe item. I really did not go crazy on GI Joe. Richard one. Man. Yeah, one box. What about? I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Do I not remember what I bought? It's not necessarily what you bought. Whoa! Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's autographs from voice actors. Correct. Correct. Yeah, but the piece of art that you have the one on is so cool. cool. What's your guys' favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? It's so hard. It's really hard. Um, I mean, I, I would probably say the movie I've seen the most times is Return of the Jedi. Okay. I'm not sure if it's my favorite movie, but it's the one I've seen the most. Okay. I love the 80s G.I. Joe cartoon movie. I've seen that almost as many times. I wasn't here. I wasn't here for that. And, but like, <laughs> like mainstream movies that aren't super nerdy stuff. Like, right. I love The Hangover, the first Hangover. Never seen that either. And I love Catch Me If You Can. None of these movies are movies, Eric. Nope. Haven't seen any of them. Nope. Um, I was just talking oh, oh, about. My phone vibrated. Oh, Tony. snap. Is it Tony? What did I win? Tony doesn't even know what's going on. He doesn't even know what he won. Anyway. Some Dota 2 pops. Why you sort that out. Uh, favorite movies. Hmm. There are a few movies that I could watch over and over no matter when they're on. Um, one of them, I like really horribly bad movies. Like... Um, like, The Room is a terrible movie, but I will watch it always. Um, I also will watch any Nicolas Cage film that's on because he is so cringy and awkward. It's amazing. Yeti, please don't flood the chat. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe. 
<laughs> you know what? There there aren't really a oh, lot of people in the chat. Good news. Tony says, I don't know what that is. Someone else would want Ooh, that more. Oh, we got another drawing. Okay, Tony. You know what? We have to put Philip Gonzalez in there because he said hi. I'm going to steal the scissors. Okay. The room is great. What are some of your guys' favorite movies? The Goonies is good. I love the Goonies. Oh, the Sandlot. Sandlot. You can watch that forever. Little Rascals. Mm, little Rascals. Maybe I'll have some better luck picking. We're redrawing for the winner. Maybe you can pick a real winner instead of Tony. I'm not looking. Grabbed one. Hooded Cobra Commander. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Hoodie, hoodie. do you want them? Buddy Coco, they're all yours if you want them. Phantom Assassin, Pudge, we got Juggernaut and Spear Breaker. Hoodie, do you want them? They're yours. I'm so sorry, Red. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh darn it. Yes, you. Congratulations if you want them. Oh. We just put Philip in. He lost. When are the Power Ranger stories coming back? Ooh, I should get back on those. <laughs> Donate to me. Yes, I will take them. Congratulations, right. Hooded Cobra Commander. Thank you so much for all your comments on our videos. Yes. I see them all the time. I need to make an SEO toy review account with my name on it. Yeah. Er instead of my own personal should, one. Should it but be like SEO Erica or Erica SEO? Like, what should, we, what, what should it be? I mean, I could figure that out. But yes, you won. OMG, you won. There you go. It's amazing. Good job. So you can check out Hooded Cobra Commander's channel. He I won too. I got to take home the Bomb Rose Pop. <laughs> he does monthly uh, unboxings of the things people send him oh, on yeah? his channel. That's so, awesome. So maybe maybe our uh, Dota Pops will show up. <laughs> SEO Toy Eric Can <laughs> with a K. <laughs> um. Some people have suggested that I spell my name like this. It's going to show up in the chat in a second, guys. Yeah. There. Some people have suggested that I spell my name like that. Erica. Erica. <laughs> <laughs> SEO Erica. Erica. <laughs> that would be her channel name. What well, would just be an account? She's probably not going to run her own yeah, just, channel. Yeah, just. No, 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 no. Just, just an account so that I could comment and appreciate all of your comments because I want to use the ones that I've used for, you know, other, school and stuff. Other projects, man. Yeah. I have three different YouTube accounts. I only use <laughs> SEO anymore, but. Yeah. Pizza or burgers? Go. Three, oh, two, pizza, one. for sure. I mean, the pizza place around here is really, really, really great. Good. But otherwise, I'd pick burgers. Anything else? We've been on for an hour. That's pretty good. Pretty good it's live. Pretty stream. good. But if you guys have any other questions, we would definitely uh, field them for a few more minutes. Let's go. Questions. Questions. Also, Halloween costume inputs. Oh yeah, costume costume ideas. This is an excellent channel. Really great work. Thank you. You're welcome, Red. I'd like to try to incorporate some more of these because they're a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I love getting to actually talk to you guys. It's a good. It's a good time. Really enjoyed the RetroCon video with Pixel Dan. Lots of great stuff. We had so much fun hanging out with him. Have you guys seen Pixel Dan's video? Yeah, we're in it. So we're in we're in Dan's video. He I actually shot a bunch of B-roll that he used. Uh, and I purposely did not use every clip I filmed of him in our there was video. Still more, there was but there's still a lot of crossover. Some, yeah. Uh, and then the, he shot a clip where we're walking behind him where he says hi to us in it. Which is yeah. Cool. I was so excited to see pixel dan and like get to hang out with him a lot he's such a nice dude and he, yes. we we got lunch we got dinner we got lunch again like we just hung out yeah. pretty much the whole time it was really really cool dan's a good guy he's really great yeah. we are your fans thanks red Sweet. i love it yeah they were good Make sure that you're on the lookout for the haul video that's coming out Sunday morning at 9. We got a lot of great stuff to show you that we picked up at RentroCon. During the vlog video, we didn't really film a lot from the first day because it's the biggest con that I've ever been to. I only went to one before this, and it was the Garden State Comic Fest. And it, it was smaller, but it was... It was a really good, like, introductory con. You know right. what I mean? And then RentroCon was like... Phew, 
it was the coolest time ever. And on the first day, I was just going around and looking at everything. I totally forgot about filming in general. So uh, let's see. We are your fans, Kevin and Eric Can. <laughs> I actually found this channel yesterday. I'm a new subscriber and I love all the content. Oh, by the way, the reason we're doing this live stream is because we're celebrating 12,000 subscribers. 12,000. Let's get some more, guys. We're almost to 12 million views, which is also insane. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I just joined close. in pretty recently, like within the last couple of months, but I've wanted to for a really long time. Right. So. Uh, Am I excited for Beast Morphers? <laughs> Heck yes, I'm excited for Beast Morphers. Heck yes. Uh, who is your favorite Transformer and why is it Megatron? Thanks, Bert Macklin. <laughs> is it Megatron? <laughs> Soundwave is my favorite. Uh, my favorite Transformer is Bumblebee. So Bumblebee movie coming out soon. Really? Mm -hmm. 12,000! Woo! Woo! We're halfway to a million. <laughs> Not quite. But... It would be cool. I, 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 I would be so excited to have the uh, silver play button up here when we hit 100,000. Awesome. That would be the coolest. Yeah. Soundwave's my favorite, too. Soundwave's awesome. He's voiced by Frank Welker, who does Very Fred cool. on Scooby-Doo. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I just picture the scar, the ascot. Oh, the scar. Yes. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Soundwave does not wear an ascot. Okay. Just Fred. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Anything else Before you guys got for us? I'm so excited that I get to take home a pop anyway. <laughs> She's stealing my pops. It's Bob Ross. He's so cute, though. <laughs> did you guys see the Aladdin trailer? And if so, thoughts? Yes, I did. I'm so excited for it. Listen, I am a huge Disney fan. I watched all of the original Disney movies because they came out when I was a kid. It was perfect timing. And I saw the live action trailer and I was so blown away. The casting looks so good and the, the effects look amazing and the settings look so good. They just look so real. It's really exciting. I cannot wait to go see Dumbo. Yes, I love Dumbo. Oh, live action Dumbo coming soon. Really? Yeah, like the, how they did the Jungle Book. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. James Barry Jr. says, love the boss, the Bob Ross Bob. He's the boss Bob. <laughs> the boss Bob. You know what? I just combine the names into one. It's fine. It's good. <laughs> Tim Burton Dumbo. Ooh, yeah, that would be... Tim so Burton Dumbo. Is that what's coming out? Uh-huh. I can't <sighs> imagine what the... Hold on. It's Johnny Depp in it. He's got to be in it somewhere. Helena Bonham Carter. Can you do one more pop giveaway? I don't have um, I don't have any more pops to give away. I already gave away all the Dota pops and my Bob Ross pop. Maybe in the Sorry? maybe in the near future, Red. Listen, Red, we're gonna do some more live streams because this has been a lot of fun. I have a good time, even though at the most we had sixteen people watching us. It was okay. pretty great. It's a good crowd, and there'll be lots of people that'll watch it. On Johnny the Depp as the new Joker. Is that happening? No, it's Joaquin Phoenix as the new Joker. Hmm. Okay. No, but I think Danny DeVito is Timothy the Mouse. Johnny Depp as the stork. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't remember what the little poem is he has, but he shows up and he does like the pitch pipe thing, and he's like, a bundle of joy for you to lay. Do you remember that part? <laughs> he drops off baby Dumbo. Um... Fun fact, I had a life-size cardboard cutout oh, of Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates. Good night, Red. Bye, Red. Have a good weekend. Have a great weekend. Anything else for us, you guys? I've been having so much fun. Uh, uh, Green Yeti's thinking... I bet you were thinking about making another Galobulus comment. <laughs> we called him out. He's not going to say it. Mm. That Johnny Depp, Johnny Deep cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Galobulus. So I had a Harrison Ford Han Solo cardboard cut out and a. Was it life size? Yeah. Nice. And, and, a, and a Boba Fett in my room, like senior year in high That's school. That's good. Oh, um, speaking of, of Fett's. 
Oh, yeah. Yes. You got to keep your eye out on Toy Galaxy. We met Dan yes. Larson. Whenever he does his next, I don't know what it'll be, whether it's a haul video or. I don't know. Or, or just a retrocom video in general where it, it could he and, just be like he and Dan are too. hanging out. Right, right, right. He right. might do a retrocom video or it might just be like recent pickups or P.O. Box. We gave him each uh, a Boba yeah. Fett for the Boba set. And we put our names on the bottom from yep. SEO. And, so. and now he actually wants to start that as a thing on his channel where he's going to request that people write their names on the feet so that way he can keep track of who gave them to him. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Teleportation. I'm lazy. Wow. Get to the that sofa was fast. I would walking. talk to animals without that a makes, doubt. That makes sense for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I would talk to animals. I'm back. Hi, hi, Red. It's Dan from Toy <laughs> Galaxy. There he is. Hi, Dan. What's up, man? What's going on Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. That's when the video is going up, probably. Nice. Sweet. Eliza, yes, from Wild Thornberries. Hi, Red. Who was Kevin's 80s crush? It's okay Who's if it was a cartoon Who chick. Wow, Chitaro and Scarlet were both. Oh, very Eliza should be my Halloween costume. Thanks, Brent Macklin. Mm. Eliza Thornberry? Yeah, yeah. You okay. have to put your hair in front of your eye. Who's going to be Darwin? I'm not trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Galaxy is here. That's yeah. awesome. Hey, we had a great time hanging out with Dan and Mrs. Toy Galaxy. Dan, we had so much fun hanging out with awesome. you. We had a great time. RetroCon was awesome. And, uh, it's cool because because uh, Dan from Toy Galaxy actually comes down. He's travels all the way from Rhode Island down to this area it's crazy. for a couple of shows a year. But this was his first RetroCon, which was awesome. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. We had a great time. Oh we should gosh. have actually shot something with you instead of just like instead of just like creeping just some on shot you. Of you looking at Dan's table, <laughs> to pixel Dan's table. But yeah, it was sort of an afterthought. We we did not do a good job of thinking about what we're shooting on the first day and then the second yeah, day. Yeah, I was just so overwhelmed by the con that I was like. <gasps> the second day we shot like a, like a recap of what had happened and then right. it was like, oh wait, we need B-roll to match up with all that stuff. So it was right. sort of a little bit yeah. choppy. We're still, we're still working on our vibe. <laughs> I thought it was funny that it just panned over to me standing there. <laughs> it was great. And here's Dan Larson. There were some pictures though. Did you notice that in the Cybertronic Spree concert, that those were videos from my phone, and I panned over it, and I had both you and Dan in the concert, <laughs> just standing there chilling out. We had such a good time. It was, it was awesome. really fun, and we got the picture from lunch. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. Can't wait till good. next year for retro. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun. We should do like a like a toy channel you're in there collab. Twice. Yeah you're, yeah, you're in there in the concert. You're in mm -hmm. uh, at Dan's table, and then there's that quick shot of everybody walking down the aisle. Believe three shots of you, Dan. Mm hmm. So, I guess this is it. Is there any more comments? Anything good? Uh, let's see. I should totally be Eliza Thornberry. That's a definite awesome consideration. Ability. I like it. See, I think that, I think that might be I'm it. Running out of stuff to say. I know. We talked for a, a long let's time. Let's talk about how cool. Did you see the channel called Moments? M O H. No. <laughs> Colobulus. Should I have seen it? What's it about? Should we have seen it? What is it about? What's it about, Dan? Tell us. The other YouTuber that we got to talk to, but we didn't film anything with, was Bruno from MMPR Toys. Oh, yeah. He's he's so cool to hang out if with. If you guys are into Power Ranger stuff, you probably already know about MMPR Toys. But Bruno and me had just moved to this area a little bit after RetroCon last year. And they do some great vlog stuff as well as really cool stop motion animation with Power Ranger stuff. Nice. That's awesome. Hang on. Let me find the link. Find okay. the link, Dan. Find the link. Just <laughs> a reminder to everyone, I won. I am officially not a loser. Congratulations, hoodie. <laughs> yeah. Hoodie won. These Dota Pops. Mm -hmm. Phantom Assassin, Pudge, Juggernaut, and Spirit Breaker. Special thanks to Funko for providing us with the thank you, thank you. product to give away. It's good stuff. I'm super lucky that I got all that stuff for my birthday. So yeah, we can MMPR give out the toys. other ones. Those pop toys. Are they edible? Uh, no, they are not pop tarts. Do you eat vinyl? Mm, vinyl. Lots of fiber in vinyl, I think. I did say that they smelled like vinyl. Or maybe I said that meat about sweat. meat sweat. He oh, smells like vinyl, but you wouldn't know. Oh, 
Oh, his tendrils disgusting. I think. <laughs> oh. It's terrifying. It doesn't even match up with like the veins or anything yeah, on his it. arm. Oh yeah, good job. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Bad guys win. Look at this. Ugh. <laughs> Ew. Those pop toys are the animal at hot sauce, maybe. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I like. So you guys already saw the apron from Meat Sweat, but look at how nice the bow nice on shot. the back is. Like that is really well tied. <laughs> Vintage Kook, I I have a comment for you about the the Power Ranger stories. All right. So if you don't watch All the right. channel, Saturday is always Power Ranger stuff, and sometimes I get on these kicks where I, we, I make like a storyline. It's like a big adventure. And the last one I did was kind of inspired by the Shattered Grid comic storyline. And I had to use just an old White Ranger and Green Ranger figure as Lord Draken. I ordered the PowerCon Lord Draken so I could do a part two with like a proper figure. And I paid a bunch of money to get Lord Draken and like sign up for the whole thing. There was I can't get him to stand up. There was something wrong with the ordering <laughs> system. And they refunded everybody's money for the Lord Drakens. So I didn't get the new Lord Draken. And that sort of demotivated me to do the next Shattered Grid Part 2. How do you get him to stand up? It might be that his arms are, need to come oh. down to balance him. Stay. Pose in action figures Good every call. day. <laughs> it's a Shardness Prime thing. It's another YouTuber. It's good stuff. Oh, man, that sucks, bud. Yeah, I was really disappointed because I really wanted that Lord Draken figure. So I got my money back, but no Lord Draken. Now I got to try and track him down. Chat will let me post the link. Ugh. Search for RetroCon 2018 360 experience. Oh, okay. We will definitely look for that. Absolutely. That cool. Are you in it, Dan? Are you in the 360? Are you in it? It's so cool that like, he joined our chat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm still kind of starstruck, so sorry, oh. not sorry. <laughs> That's all right. There, there's an old live stream where uh, Pixel Dan jumped in and no matter how many times I've gotten to hang out with Pixel Dan, I fan everyone is in it. Oh, sweet! Woo! But yes. every time Dan, Pixel Dan popped in, and I was just like, oh, "Pixel Dan's here!" Because I, <laughs> I can't help it. Even though we're yeah. friends in real life, I fanboy every time because yeah. he's my favorite YouTuber. You know, it is what it is. It's good stuff. They had a 360 camera like the Google Maps card. What? Nice. That's awesome. How do we not notice? How did Screenwave not bring their 180 camera? And I don't from, know. From James's booth, they should have done an AVGN. I don't know. It was so cool meeting him, though. He is the nicest guy. I thought he would be angry. Mm, no, that's He's just not. the character he plays. He's not. He's just a nice dude. He's just a nice guy. So cool. We were uh, we were escorts. We were for him. That's so, how I met him. <laughs> so J James is a is a pretty big celebrity, and so cool. People stop him all the time. Like he he gets stopped at like, the mall. He gets stopped at mm -hmm. Kansas, whatever. And so he came to the con, came, they stuck him in through the back door and he like set up his table. And then he was like, I gotta go to the bathroom before we start signing. So he was like, going to go, but I knew he was going to get like stopped a bunch and it was going to take longer. So I was like, do you need an escort? And Eric and I were standing at the front of the yep. line, yep. But, but I already know him through screen wave, our YouTube network. So we walked him up to the bathroom and talk, got to talk to him for a few minutes and just kind of, so cool. just kind of keep, keep so chill. Keep the general, <laughs> the general pop away for a second. He was booking it. We moved yeah, he, so he, fast. He went so fast to get to the bathroom. <laughs> and then... And then we moved so fast to get back. Yeah. And then he did his signing and met everybody, and it was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. All right, let's see. It's an honor to be in the same stream as Toy Galaxy. Absolutely, I agree. Um, yeah, Pixel Dan got me into collecting again. It would be a dream come true to meet him. And all you guys... Oh, thanks. That would be awesome. Listen, I'm not a collect... Well... You know what? You I am now. now. I am now. If you watched, well, Sunday, actually, watch Sunday, the haul video. I've started a collection. My very first one. I started it. It's all your fault, it's and I'm going to spend so much money. It's all your fault. Unless you guys want to send me some. <laughs> Don't ask them for pops. I'm just We're giving away pops on this stream. <laughs> anyway. You definitely have to check out our Sunday haul video. Thanks, Bert. Thanks for checking us out. It's a good time. It's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Started collecting. All your fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not mad about it, though. It's okay. 
I enjoy coming home and they're just like right there. And I look at them. They're waiting for you. You have Bob Ross pop vinyl. You're officially a collector. Yes. The first pop that I actually got was at the Garden State Comic Fest, which is the Erica's first con vlog. Mm -hmm. And I got a Joker pop, which I have sitting up there too. You have a Bob Ross. Yep. We got that one. That's my good twin there, boy. Okay. All right. Not sure what that means. Who is the good twin? Bob Ross? Is he your good twin? Maybe. Here he is. <laughs> He's mine, though. I'm not sorry. I'm a little mm -hmm. sorry. But not all the way sorry. Sorry. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Got anything else for us? Are we good? I got the mouse. Gonna Listen, terminate this thing if nobody else has wait, any questions. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you guys so much. This is my first live stream ever. And I had a really good time. Toy Galaxy. Dan, I got a roll. I'm neglecting my duties right now. I'm supposed to be writing a script. Write so the scripts. Make the videos, write Dan. Em, it's important. Write them. Make them. Do it. If there's good nothing night. Like, if there's nothing <laughs> Eric can. <laughs> I'm going to make that my username. <laughs> my, <laughs> my SEO YouTube channel just because of you, Green Yeti. Consistency. You got to keep putting the videos Eric out. and Bob Ross, can you tell them apart? Can you? Can you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you guys joined us. It was really good. It was awesome. Make sure to like, okay. subscribe, and check out our other videos. Bye, guys. Have yeah. a good night. Have a good weekend.